Alright guys, today I will show you, how you can make a cool list of all of your users and members to show on your site. You can customize it, search through it and lot more stuff. I'm going to use a really handy plugin called User Meta Pro. Check the description below for installation link. Install it, and follow me to the next section. After successful installation, go to your dashboard. In the left sidebar, you will find the User Meta menu. Under the User Meta menu you have to find and click on Add On option. You'll find the user listing add-on here. By default it will be turned off, you have to turn it on. Next, you have to put the short code user meta user list in an arbitrary page, for example members. My page has the default theme, and here is my list of all users. Now, let's go through all the options from this option menu. You can see that here is a table of all options available. We'll see these four options in details here. Let's start with the caption setting. We'll copy this short code from the table and paste it in our members page. Let's update this new change and go to our members page. Press refresh to see the caption. And we can see that the table has the caption we've given it. In this section, I'll show you the second option. Roles. I'll copy the short code for author and subscriber from here. I'll paste the short code in our members page. Before we move forward, you can see here that I have created a number of placeholder authors, editors and subscribers for demonstration purposes. Here we have all available user before we refresh the page. Hit refresh and you can see that we only have the authors and subscribers as we've given in the short code. You can use this if you, for example, want to see all the subscribers in your users. Put subscriber in the role section and update and refresh. And we have a beautiful list of all of subscribers right here. Up next, we'll talk about the fields parameter. For the fields to work properly, the field number we put here has to be shared field. You can find the shared field option under the user meta menu. I've already created some fields here from the right sidebar. You can see all available options from here. Let's put them on our members page. Note these ID numbers of each shared field. We'll write these down in the field parameter in the order we want them to appear. Now we update, and refresh the page to see new list of users. You can see that there are no value in some fields. That's because we did not put any data in those shared fields. And for the last section, the link field section. We can set linked fields like these by copy pasting over here. When the field ID we've used before is given in the linked field, that field will become linked to your public profile. For example, I will make field 10 linked. Putting 10 in the linked field, let's update this and refresh the page. The email field has become linked. Let's visit one of the links. Let's check out one of the editors, and we are in the public profile page of the editor we've clicked on. We will talk about the public profile next. 
All right, let's set up this public profile page. Next, we'll go into the add-on page, then hit the option link on user listing add-on. After that go to the front-end setup tab. You can see here you can choose a page for your public profile. I have set an empty page named profile. For the profile setup, we'll need a form. Let's go to the form section. I have this form set up named user profile. I've made this form contain different fields from the right side panel. We'll put the form name, user profile, in the short code. Then, all the fields I have chosen are going to be on the public profile page. You need to take your desired form's short code like, user profile, and put it in the short code for public profiles. For any short code you can check the right sidebar of your forms page. Let me show you how I've put the short code in my case. And that is how you can set up your public profile page for your user list. Well that is all about the user listing add-on. There are a few advanced topics that I have skipped. If you want to know about those extra features, or just want a written version of this video, just go to your add-on page and click on documentation link. This will take you to our website. Please subscribe and for any more questions, leave a comment or check the description for our support team's contact information. Thank you.